Hello and welcome, you join me ADG and here we are for race 8 of the Simifex 1 hour endurance championship in the group 3 cars. So, we're at the Nürburgring GP and we'll get underway straight away. So we've got Paul K in first with a good qualifying session, ADG in second, we've got DRL, uh, Danish Racing League, Linga in uh, third, we've got fourth, Ginger Tim. Timovitz in 5th, 6th is Bazinger, 7th is Specky Jock, Skid Guru in 8th, Phoenix in 9th, Danny in 10th, 11th is Mulson, 12th is Broad, and 13th is B. Kunis, Steve Stones coming up the rear in 14th, so we'll uh, get the race started, here we go, we're on the way. Uh, we'll stick with Specky as we see him go down the inside of Bazinger into T1 on the first lap. So making up a position straight away into the first corner is Specky. And it's a good overtake. Gets it done cleanly and now he's right on the back of uh, Timovitz giving him a bit of uh, grief as well. So good uh, good first corner from uh, Specky there, making the most of it. Getting a better start on the uh, rolling start than Basinger and uh, getting side by side down the first corner. And the way we're going to the first lap. So Paul managed to have a decent start, keeps it in first place, I'm still in second, Lingar in third. Skip to me briefly uh, for a list. So I don't know where it was, but somewhere along this lap, but I managed to pick up a penalty of three seconds, uh, just because I was following Paul and uh, I ended up probably missing my uh, line that I'd normally take because I couldn't see the apex properly. Anyway, I'm blaming Paul, but uh, obviously it was my, my fault really. So I got myself a penalty on lap one, and uh, as I get onto the start finish straight, I decided to uh, get rid of it, so I had three second penalty, and I thought, uh, I'll be quiet, I'll be honest here, I got my uh, leagues mixed up in one of the leagues that I'm racing, you're meant to pull over on the start finish straight and get rid of your uh, penalty as soon as you get it. So that's pretty much what I did. And then realised that everyone else is driving around with the penalties for ages, so I must have got the wrong league for that rule. <laughs> so again, my mistake, I'm full of mistakes. Uh, if I don't have any mistakes, it's been a bad week. So I see myself dropping into fifth now as uh, I get rid of that three second penalty I picked up on lap one and uh, Ginger Tim and Timovic uh, making good from that and uh, Lingar as well so they've all gained the place so we'll go down the order a bit, Spicky Jock uh, in 6th place now Bazin just still right behind him and then we've got Phoenix following them in 8th in, uh, place don't know why I wanted to say ninth then Skid Guru's in ninth, and then we've got Danny in 10th Mulson 11 still, Broad, so nothing's changed at the back here. Broad started in 12th, is in 12th still. B. Cooney in 13th, started in 13th, and same with uh, Steve Stone, so no position changes at the back so far. So we've got Danny on the right on the back of uh, Skid Guru here. Going for the inside line, he's done it, and he's got it done, so he's got past Skid Guru. So Danny's gone up a place there. Phoenix, the big winner so far, is uh, at one place from where he uh, started the race in ninth. And Danny as well in uh, ninth. Uh, Phoenix started the race in 9th and is now in 8th and Danny started the race in 10th now up into 9th so they've both got past uh, Skid Guru started in 8th and dropped back into 10th now so we're heading on to lap 3 and uh, where is everyone? 
stick with uh, this little battle going on. So we've got Danny quite close to the back of Phoenix, just kind of trying to keep it nice and tidy and uh, catch him up as quickly as possible. So whilst we're uh, watching the action go on in front of us, not a lot of overtaking going on. Um, I've just mentioned that it's been a really good championship so far. I've had a couple of bad races here and there. Uh, some my own fault, some other people's fault uh, due to contact and stuff like that. But uh, all in all, it's been a really good championship and I'm looking forward to uh, the second championship uh, that I'll be involved in. I know some of these guys have been doing this for a while. Uh, and it used to be known as a different league and all sorts of different uh, history to this thing, SimFX. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the next uh, championship. Group 3 championship should be good. Uh, just to put my little pennies worth in there as well. Um, if anyone listens to this from the admin, I don't think there's a great deal to change really. I think it works really well. Uh, I just think uh, there maybe should be organised practice night, uh, one night a week, so everyone, uh, no one has any excuse for not knowing the track properly and we all get to race together before the actual race, maybe only a half an hour race so we don't have a full hour and we don't have a full representation of what the race will be like. But. Um, but yeah, maybe we should do that, and I know there's plenty of practice groups that go on, but actually uh, make one so uh, people, kind of, everyone turns up to it basically. Not just a few from the group, uh, everyone would be nice. So we see uh, Phoenix going past Passenger there up front, we'll skip up to that. Uh, so Phoenix having a good race now, getting past Passenger, and Passenger's uh, not a slow guy, so doing well there Phoenix to get past nicely. Got Danny now chasing Bazinger down in ninth place. Bazinger in eighth, Phoenix in seventh now. And we'll skip a bit further up, see what's going on. Specky Jock in sixth. So I'm right on the back of uh, Timovitz now in uh, fourth place, and I'm in fifth. We'll watch this for a minute or two. So good train of cars coming through the corners there, as we can see in the background. Everyone pretty close together, only on lap four, but we are, uh, they are quite long laps these, so we're uh, nearly eight minutes in, about two minutes roughly, two minutes a lap around this track. So I think I made a tiny bit touch, a uh, tiny bit of contact with Timovitz and uh, tapped him on the rear end but nothing major, no damage from it which is the important thing from any contact so we've got the first three guys very close together battling away we've got me trying to go down the inside of Timovitz and uh, Specky Jock looking keen to get past as well so Specky ended up uh, being a bit too keen touched Timovitz, having some contact and uh, had to give Timovitz the place back so does me a massive favour there, the Specky Jock, because it just drops those uh, those guys right off the back of me. So I get myself between to fourth place, and then all of a sudden uh, I've got a gap behind me as well. So Timovitz now uh, leading out a pack from Phoenix in sixth place. Timovitz in uh, fifth. And then we've got Specky Jock down in seventh now after that little mistake. with Phoenix, see if he can, uh, can get up there and get past Timovitz. I'll be uh, completely honest as well, I haven't watched the uh, whole replay through. It's only uh, <coughs> a Wednesday morning, 
I've got the week off work on holiday, so I've decided to do it first thing straight after the race. And uh, I haven't skipped through and made notes of everything, so I'll miss some action uh, inevitably, but hopefully it's a good enough replay just from what I catch. So we've got everyone, everyone battling away in the background, and Phoenix uh, dropped back a little bit now from Timovic. And Specky's probably uh, reeling him in, uh, getting closer and closer now. We've got Danny chasing uh, Specky, and we've got Skid Guru uh, chasing Danny. Mulson watching it all go on from a bit of distance with uh, Bird right behind him, so a bit of pressure for Mulson. Bazinger now in 12, so now having a great race, dropping back, uh, started in, where did he start? In 6th did Bazinger, and now in 12, so he's dropped back 6 places, uh, I, I nearly lost my words then. He's dropped back 6 places, so that's surprising from Bazinger, so having a bad race here. But I'm sure it's, uh, it's only 10 minutes in, I'm sure he can make good by the end. So we've got uh, Danny uh, and Specky drop very close. Dan is looking uh, keen to get past now. Don't want to leave it too much longer. He's right behind him. So I'll be looking in this next corner or two to get past him. Not quite. Oh, bit of contact there. So Danny actually losing out a bit there. And uh, going wide on the exit there as well. So he finds uh, Skid Guru side by side now. So a bit of a moment there from Danny which dropped him back off the back of Specky Jock and Skid Guru making the opportunity work and uh, gets himself up into 8th place from that as well. So a bit of a, a bad moment from Danny there we caught. Don't worry Danny, it happens to me all the time. So <laughs> we'll uh, catch up with the guys in the front because we haven't given them much coverage yet. So Ginger Tim having a really good race this race in third place at the moment. Trying to catch uh, Paul K, my teammate, in the uh, Milwaukee Jag. And then uh, Paul's trying to catch uh, DRL, which stands for the Danish Racing League. Uh, standing in for Phil, I believe, uh, is Lingart. Doing a good job in first place, so uh, giving, uh, giving the representation of Phil accurately. So Ginger Tim qualified in fourth, so he's made up one place, but he's, uh, he's having a really good consistent race so far. If you look at his lap times on the right hand side, he's been keeping it nice and tidy, keeping it clean and uh, consistent. Bit of difference between them, but they're still very uh, lap after lap, they're uh, very close together. Uh, if you look, he's done two 155.8s together and he's done two 157.4s together as well so a bit slower than 157.4s obviously but um, still good to see that consistency so Ginger Tim if I'm not mistaken probably having his best race uh, of the championship in this one then he finds himself on easy street as well with a massive gap behind him to me no pressure from behind, so you can just concentrate on catching Paul, which is uh, crucial when you're up front. If you've got no pressure from behind, it makes a hell of a difference on just being able to try and catch the guy in front and stick with him. He does everywhere in the field, obviously, but especially up front when you're trying to get in those ultimate lap times, lap after lap. So Tim's skipping across the curbs a little bit. He's doing a good job uh, again to keep up with Paul. We know that Paul's a fast guy, and we know that the RL Linger's a fast guy as well. They're uh, they're putting in good uh, results, race after race. So ADG is me in fourth, Timovic's in fifth now, we'll go down the order. Phoenix doing really well, started in ninth, up into sixth. Uh, Broad, uh, similar, started in twelfth, up into seventh. So really good racing from them two guys. Mulson, credit to him as well. Started in 11th, up into 8th. Uh, Bazinger in 9th now. Uh, B. Cooney in 11th, uh, in 10th, uh, started in 13th. So decent racing from B. Cooney there. 
still towards the back, but um, doing a good job. Steve Stearns, 14th, uh, he started and he's up into 11th, so we've got a couple of uh, pit stops going on now. Uh, that's probably why as well, a few places have uh, been changed. We'll skip a few seconds on Skid Gurus. So Skid Guru comes out into 13th and Danny's now in 14th. After we saw him have that mistake a couple of laps ago and uh, he's probably had another one since to drop him right back to 14th. Anyway, Specky Jock comes out of the pits in 12th. And uh, we'll head back up and see what's going on. So we've got Bazinger chasing Moulton. Good little battle going on here towards uh, the mid pack. Oh, Molson is getting understeer in the turning uh, for the turning there and uh, going wide. So Molson dropping a place to Bazinger as Bazinger sees the opportunity. Molson going wide and uh, just goes down the inside. Molson coming back at him there as we can see in the rear view mirror, but tricky corner to get it overtaken through uh, the lash again so thinks better of it does Moulton drop back and uh, Bazinger keeps the place looks to get on the back of uh, Broad now so again we'll skip up looks like Moulton's pitted so dropping off the back of that battle now as well we'll skip up uh, we've got Ginger Tim right behind uh, Paul K now so we'll keep uh, checking in on this battle throughout the race, throughout the replay should I say. And uh, keep our eye on where Ginger Tim and Paul K are and how they're doing. Especially in the pit stop window. If we, uh, if we look between the tyres as well. So Ginger Tim's not looking too bad, just got over half a tank of fuel left. Paul K with a little less fuel and tyres are slightly more worn at the front so Jaguar just taking more out of its tyres on this track than the uh, four wheel drive uh, can't be four wheel drive the, um, I've said this before um, rear wheel drive evolution of uh, Ginger Tim it's really hard to get your words out once you make a mistake because you're, you're so aware of it and saying the right thing afterwards he's so uh, cautious and conscious of uh, saying the right thing so Paul's still doing a good job to stick in front of uh, Ginger Tim with uh, pressure from behind the whole time. Ginger Tim having a good run there in the slipstream. Pulls to the inside to have a look and gets it done into the uh, first corner. Goes a little bit wide on the exit but manages to gather it up in front of Paul and uh, keeps in uh, second place. Paul with no opportunity to come back in straight away. So Paul into third now. PKG uh, I mean when I'm uh, talking about Paul I'm sure we're all aware so Ginger Tim got the chance now to try and uh, break uh, break the slipstream to Paul and uh, pull a bit of a gap to him now into second place having a really good race now Ginger Tim having a good race anyway but to get past uh, Paul and put it into second was a uh, it was a good move. Timovic dropped a little bit um, off the back of me now in fourth place. I don't stick in fourth place. Uh, I obviously took a few mistakes in there to drop myself back a bit. Hate to have a good race all the way through. Just not me. Phoenix in the Mazda in six. Bazinger from Team Evolution in seventh. Ginger Tim's uh, teammate. So he's going up and down. Is Bazinger a little bit 
Broad in eighth in the Mazda, teammates to Phoenix. B. Cooney in ninth now in the, oh, I'm just going to guess the SLS. 50 50 chance of getting it right. Specky Jock uh, in the SLS as well. Uh, Steve Stearns in the Jaguar in 11th, Mulson in 12th now. And we're coming up to the pit stops for everyone, so we'll uh, keep an eye on that. So we'll skip back up. So pits for Broad, me and uh, B. Kune. Got Broad coming in, so we'll skip his stop. So he comes out behind Specky Jock. I've just got to skip a little bit of time, as you guys know, probably, if you watch these before, to uh, try and get it under an hour and get it within an hour's replay. So using the first pit stops to skip a little bit of time. So Broad coming out into eighth behind Specky Jock, as I've already said. I'm in sixth place now uh, after the pit stop. And uh, the guys in front haven't stopped, so I'm going to stick with myself because uh, just knowing me, what happened in my race, um, I had a bit of a battle as uh, a couple of guys came out of the pit, so there might be action going on that I'm missing right now, but uh, I'll stick with this just because I know I'll catch, uh, catch the pit, st pit stop exit from uh, the guys in front. Skip up the camera angle in anticipation for that as well. So we'll go on board as soon as I can with my own, uh, my own replay. I do something that I wouldn't normally do as well, I'll mention it slightly later, just to give some uh, full credit to uh, to the race. See we are as we come down the start and finish straight, so looking out for the right hand side. As we see Ginger Tim, Paul K and Bazinger all in the pit, so we see Ginger Tim and Paul K coming out behind me, so I managed to make that that earlier stop. I stopped one lap uh, before them, but I managed to make that pit stop work. Uh, probably because of the fuel load I put in as well. I didn't go full fuel, um, but yeah, managed to come out in front of these guys. So I find myself in third place all of a sudden. So uh, it's uh, for me to keep now, but that's the struggle for me. So anyway, the positions have changed, so Timovic's yet to pit in second place, going for the one stop by the look of it. DRL Linga um, looking for the one stop as well, plenty of fuel to do it and the tyres aren't too bad. Um, so they'll stop a bit later. I've just stopped on the 20 minute window pretty much, uh, ADG in third now, Paul K in fourth now. As the chases me down. Ginger Tim in fifth, dropped up back off uh, Paul K a little bit after the pit stop there, and uh, Ginger Tim actually dropping a position to uh, Paul K as well, so he finds himself losing a bit of time in the stop, but not to worry, he's still uh, definitely there in the race as Ginger Tim, so Specky Jock now in sixth place, we've got Freud in seventh after the pit stops. I'm not saying everyone's stopped, but uh, quite a few people have stopped, so the order's changed up a bit. Bazinger in 8th, following pretty closely to Broad. Phoenix in 9th, with a big gap to uh, Br uh, Bazinger in front of him. Mulson in 10th, chasing Phoenix now. Mulson doesn't see himself this race, uh, he's seen quite far back in qualifying and uh, not really seen him pushing forward. B. Cooney in 11th, which you'd normally expect from Mulsong, should I add. B. Cooney in 11th, uh, doing well, dropped back a little bit now, he was in 9th uh, earlier on, but in 11th. Skid Guru in 12th, not having a good race. Steve Stearns in 13th, so can't manage to get it going in this one. And then uh, Danny D now in 14th right at the back, so we'll skip up and uh, See what the gaps are like. So we've got Paul chasing me and Tim chasing Paul. And that's probably the closest action at the moment. You 
again I do apologise if you had a particularly good couple of laps or something and I've missed it uh, just doing one of those replays where I skip through means I do miss some action here and there So we'll give DR Linger a bit of uh, coverage, not really showing him much, going around on his own at the front. In the trusty GTR that seems to be uh, the car for the championship. The results just seem to keep coming for the uh, Nissan GTR. I don't think there's been a week where they've uh, they've put in bad results. These uh, Danish guys. So Timovic still looking for that pit stop, wondering what the uh, what lap's the best lap to do it on, and where he's going to come out. So he's got Danny now behind him as he's uh, gone past him in 14th place. He's a back marker. This little battle's uh, looking about the same, so just getting out of the way there is, uh, uh, blah, 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 I've forgotten his name, uh, Danny, getting out of the way altogether and uh, letting those guys pass. So a good job there from Danny as we see him drifting all over the place in the background, coming out of that corner. Well, nicely done, cheers Danny for uh, just getting completely out of the way. means there's no confusion whatsoever between uh, the guys trying to get past the back marker. Bit of gravel being spat up there from myself and Paul K. So not a lot going on there really, just good racing but the uh, gap seems similar each lap. So we've got um, Baz Ingerbrod and Specky pretty close together as well. Similar kind of battle going on between these guys. Just want to keep an eye on what's going on. So we've got uh, B. Cooney and Skid Guru pretty close together. B. Cooney looking for an opportunity to get past Skid Guru, slipstreaming now down the straight, but it's uh, dropped back on, on the exit of that corner a little bit. Coming up to the end of lap 14, starting lap 15, nearly halfway through the race now, 28 minutes in. So B. Cooney dropping off now, it was close to Skid Guru and having a chance but dropped back a little bit now. So we'll sit with uh, Broad and look back to Bazinger and uh, Specky in front. Again, not a lot going on here, a bit of a gap between these guys, so skip up and uh, watch what's going on here. So you see me side by side. Oh, God, I miss that. That's a, I miss that. Uh, side by side with Timovitz through that corner, I remember it. And uh, I should have probably backed out. Timovitz maybe should have probably backed out, but it was just that uh, one of those things where it was who's, who's going to give each other room, and uh, we ended up side by side instead. Uh, neither of us backed out of it and um, yeah, I ended up having a bit of contact side by side with Timovitz and it sent me flying off into the gravel so I dropped back into fifth now. Uh, oh, see uh, Ginger Tim having a bit of a moment there so I'm missing it all but <laughs> that's typical, uh, typical in my style. 
So I'm now in fifth place. I've dropped right back after uh, visiting the gravel. So, like I say, I don't like to make my races easy, so I like to chuck a mistake in there and uh, drop myself back. Timovitz looks like he's taking a penalty now, so he's dropping back in uh, his fourth place. And uh, the places of second and third are rightfully taken up by their owners. Uh, so Paul K now in second and Ginger Tim in third. No longer have to find themselves in fourth and fifth. So I would say good racing from uh, Paul and Ginger Tim and, and it is because they've just kept it consistent and made the most of a mistake in front of them but uh, more bad, uh, more of a bad mistake from myself and uh, Timovitz really uh, to pull these guys back up so uh, I'm not sure where I didn't catch what happened to Timovitz after that but um, I don't think uh, he ended up as obviously as badly off as me through that but my own fault for not backing out and uh, his own fault if he uh, did end up with any any problem out of that for uh, not backing out either we both uh, didn't end up with damage so oh no he does have rear right suspension damage sorry so i gave him a bit of damage so i didn't actually realize that until i've just looked then so we see uh, drl linger in the pits i do apologize for giving you damage as well uh, Tim of it, so that's not good. So DRL Linger in the pits now and uh, comes out into third place behind uh, Paul K and uh, Ginger Tim now leading the race. So again, Ginger Tim having a good race, Paul having a good race, and Linger has it to do now. He's uh, He's pitted halfway through and done a one-stop uh, attempt. Now in third place. I'm in fourth now. As it looks like uh, Timovitz needed to pit anyway. He was on the one-stop strategy, so especially with me giving him damage through that corner side-by-side -side and having a little bit of contact, uh, then He's uh, had to pit to get rid of that as well. So I hold my hands up to any uh, mistakes I uh, make. If uh, if I go side by side, then I think that I maybe shouldn't have done, and it was probably one of those things that was a bit of heat at the moment. Then uh, if something happens, I hold my hands up to it and think, well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I had one last week with Phoenix uh, on the first lap uh, that I shouldn't have done. I was just a bit too uh, keen to try and get past on lap one and uh, I ended up making a big uh, mistake out of it and uh, keeping my foot in as well where I could have uh, corrected my mistake that I made uh, and the tiny bit of contact because I put myself in a silly position side by side with Phoenix in the wrong corner and uh, yeah I didn't really back out of it to uh, correct my mistake properly so we've got uh, Specky Jock chasing me pretty closely now so I need to just calm down sometimes in these races and uh, wait for the opportunity to be a better one than uh, just the one that arises in front of me and I see and die for. So learning uh, through this championship, although I'm quite an experienced racer online, um, league racing is a bit of a different thing and everyone is quite competitive and no one wants to give up any places obviously. So. Uh, You've got to make sure those overtakes are uh, proper overtakes rather than just half a chance that you try and get away with. So Phoenix uh, in 7th having a decent race now, Mulse on in 8th, uh, not really made the way up the order much, uh, as much as uh, I'd normally expect them to. B Cooney in 10th, Timovitz now in 11th after his pit stop. Broad in 12th, uh, Steve Stones in 13th and Danny's in the pits now, we'll just skip Danny, I know it doesn't make any difference if we skip, Danny's actually not leaving the pits by the look of it, so I've just uh, skipped a lot of the time there, missed loads of action probably. B Cooney, uh, pretty close, being chased by uh, Timovitz now, we'll keep an eye on this for a second. Uh, he's uh, got a bit of a gap to him actually, thought he was a bit closer than that. 
from that camera angle, this camera angle, it looks really close. So we're coming around the last corner to complete lap 18 and head on to lap 19. 36 minutes through the race now, so uh, 25 minutes left. So we see uh, Timovitz having an attempt of going down the inside into T1 on uh, B. Cooney. B. Cooney late braking oh, and out braking himself, so overshooting the uh, corner, going deep into it. Having to gather it all up and uh, losing seventh place there to Timovitz uh, now in uh, in seventh and B. Cooney in eighth. Specky Jock not close enough to uh, make any advantage of uh, B. Cooney's mistake there. And uh, neither am I. I find myself in 10th place now as I've had a spin. Uh, and a, an early second stop, I think. Can't remember if I stopped or not. Can't remember what happened, to be honest. I definitely had the spin, though. So, again, didn't want my race to be too easy, so I uh, chucked a spin in there. Now, don't get what happens in these races. I'll be completely honest for myself, talking personally. Uh, I do plenty of practice and everything goes hunky-dory in practice. I do really good lap times. I keep it nice and consistent. I seem to keep the tyre wear down. My fuel seems quite good. Everything seems perfect for the race. And I get into the race and I just uh, make too many mistakes. So I think maybe an hour is... Uh, I, I underestimated how long an hour was to start with. And I thought, oh, an hour's no problem. I'm not even going to consider it. And uh, as the championship's gone on and on, I think it's harder and harder. I find, I'm finding it harder and harder to concentrate for an hour. So maybe it's just me, uh, my concentration and my uh, lapse of concentration. But oh, we've still got Skid Guru and Broad. I want to skip away close by. Skid Guru looking to get past Broad. Looking pretty keen now as we head up into the braking zone for the hairpin. Um, Chicane, should I say? So side by side through the chicane. It's good to see good clean racing through there. It's a tight chicane. And then head up, head up to uh, the last corner here. So Skid Guru uh, making it up into 11th place and getting past Broad. That's uh, a good move. So I'm chasing Mulson now, Mulson going a little bit wide on the kerb. Specky Jock's chasing uh, B. Cooney. So Timovitz has got past uh, B. Cooney and it looks like uh, Specky Jock's about to do the same. Specky's uh, gone into 7th now, B. Cooney in 8th. So because I dropped right back to 10th, uh, I gave everyone a place. Well, not everyone, but fair few people a place so Mulson uh, just had a bit of a mistake and I've uh, got past him up into ninth now Mulson in 10th missing all the action here so we've got Ginger Tim and Paul K in the pits Pretty much 20 minute stops, uh, doing the pit stops uh, every 20 minutes, that's what I mean. Bazinger in the pits now as well, so we'll skip a bit of time through Bazinger's stop. Bazinger comes out in 7th uh, place, 6th place and then just gets overtaken into the first corner into six, uh, by me actually, into 7th uh, place now. So I just managed to late break and uh, get in front of Bazinger as I saw him coming out of the pits in uh, in the 21st lap. I've already pitted a bit earlier so my tyres are a little bit more warm. But uh, I was happy that I just managed to get that move done in front of Bazinger as he came out of the pits. And uh, managed to keep that 6th place rather than... Uh, Drop back behind in seventh, especially behind Bazinger. I know he's a good racer, and it would have been hard to get past him. So, uh, so yeah, well, I was really glad that I managed to uh, pull that move and uh, get into sixth, coming uh, and beating Bazinger out of the stop. So 
so we'll pretty much stick with that I think as well because it's pretty much the closest action at the moment. So Bazinger chasing me and Phoenix uh, chasing Bazinger not far behind. Bazinger missing the apex a little bit there but carrying the speed nicely through that corner. Blue flag's being waved, I'm not sure why. So I'm leading this little pack of three cars now. Nothing exciting going on really, but we're catching up to uh, someone by the look of it. Is that a specky jock? I'm not sure. I'm wondering why those blue flags are being waved. So we might be coming up to a back marker here. Nope, it's Specky Jock, so I'm not sure what that were all about. So Specky Jock uh, seems to have made a mistake and we've caught him up pretty quickly. Oh, we're getting onto the back of him pretty quickly, should I say, we haven't caught him up yet. Bazinger uh, right on the back of me now, looking very fruity for an overtake. Not close enough to get it done in there. I seem to be really quite quick out of that corner, so I managed to pull a bit of a lead, more or less, so they put a lap on uh, the person behind me through that corner and uh, seemed to be my strength that one corner. So I'm waiting for the end section now because I know how good it got between me and Phoenix. We had a really good race towards the end, uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on this battle. We all look to be getting uh, closer and closer to Specky Jock as well, as we see him in front of us every now and again. And there he is in the distance. So Bazinger trying to get a good run. I had a little kick of oversteer mid corner there, but not too uh, not too bad. Bazinger trying to slip through me down the straight now. I felt they got pretty close, so I went for the defensive line. And Bazinger having to go for the uh, normal entry to the corner. I managed to get the braking done even though I went down the inside to defend. And uh, kept it quite nicely in front of Bazinger. I'm going to skip through briefly because we'll end up watching me and Phoenix for quite a bit towards the end, so we'll give everyone a shout. DRL uh, Lingar in uh, first. Skid uh, uh, Simifex, not Skid Guru, Simifex Ginger Tim in second. And I'd just like to say, Ginger Tim, really, really, really good race. Really impressed from you this week. And uh, I expect uh, you're capable of these races more and more often than you've just had a bad championship. So uh, it's good to see that you've actually had a really good race this, uh, this week. Paul Kane third. Uh, having a good race as well, Timovitz in 4th, 5th is Specky Jock, ADG me in 6th, uh, Bazinger close to following me in 7th, Phoenix uh, close to following Bazinger in 8th, Skid Guru in 9th now, uh, Bird in 10th, We've got Mulson in 11th, uh, B. Cooney in 12th, don't look like there's a lot of action going on at the back either. Steve Stones in 13th and Danny's just sat there in the pits in 14th. So Danny's been sat in the pits for uh, about 10 minutes now, so he's definitely not racing anymore. He's uh, retired, we can take that as. So we'll uh, stick with this action like I've said, so we'll go with uh, Bazinger in the middle of us. So I'm in 6th, Bazinger 7th and Phoenix in 8th as we come towards the last uh, 15 minutes of the race. So I'm not sure if I've skipped enough time, so I hope I have. I'm 
and the uh, passenger getting all close and closer. Uh, sorry, I didn't know what to say then. <laughs> getting closer and closer through the, uh, the corners here and getting right on my bumper now, giving me some real pressure. So actually going up into sixth place there, passenger. And uh, me and Phoenix are side by side battling now. I don't want to give up the place to uh, Phoenix. I actually remember uh, thinking I'm not giving it, uh, taking anything away from Bazinger. In fact, I'm giving him credit if anything. Uh, I remember thinking I'm just going to have to let him pass at some point because uh, it's just too fast for me to keep behind. I've done my best for the last couple of laps driving defensively, but uh, Bazinger's doing too good a job. So he's still uh, lap after lap, even though I've been uh, defensive driving on him. Um, so I'm just going to let him by eventually, as soon as he gets a really good run on me, I might as well just let him go. Uh, I wasn't going to let him go easily, don't get me wrong, but as soon as uh, he showed any chance of uh, actually having a clean, good move on me, I just pulled pulled out and uh, let him past, just to give Bazinger a fair race, and I've already held him up long enough, uh, trying to keep my place, but I just realised it wasn't going to work, so I've got the same problem now with uh, with Phoenix basically, uh, so I'm in seventh place now, and I just try and keep my place to Phoenix. So I end up being quite defensive at times, um, quite aggressive at times, but I really wanted to keep this seventh place. And I know Phoenix is a good racer; uh, I can trust him through the corners and everything. So we're um, we're having a, a hell of a race towards the end here, me and Phoenix. And it all started from this point, pretty much. So Phoenix uh, late on the brakes, trying to uh, get as close as possible to uh, on the exit through the first corner. I'll talk through a full lap, go down here, down a gear into second, get the apex. Uh, make sure you hit the apex, pull it wide as you can over to the left hand side to open up the corner. Tuck it in as early as you can to the apex, and then run it wide to the curb on the left hand side. You can actually cut that quite a bit in this track without getting a penalty, so then down one gear, maybe two, into there, just hook up the apex, get it right over to the left hand side to open up this corner, and then tuck it into the right hander, on the power as early as you can, coming out of there, so I pull a little bit of a gap to Phoenix, then looking for the braking just as the kerb starts on the left hand side, down two gears, maybe three I think, in second gear, try and get the exit hooked up for a late apex and uh, early exit, and then full power through here, a little bit of a lift to gather it up if you feel like you've got a bit of understeer going in and you haven't got your turning right. And then looking for the braking point just before the green for me, just to make sure that I gather it, gather it up all nice every lap. And then uh, took it into this one, just roll off the accelerator, roll back on it. And then uh, full power down here through the gears. So we see Bazinger having a, a bit of a weird moment in front, going a little bit wide there. But no big deal. Hadn't lost any time, but nearly went off track by the look of it. Just trying to uh, get the braking done nicely for the last chicane, through the last chicane as fast as possible. It's a bit of a scrappy chicane. And then try and hook up the uh, last apex and uh, exit out of the corner for the long start finish straight. So that's a full lap of Nürburgring GP. Badly done probably, but there you go. So Phoenix again, I'm on the inside, I can see Phoenix is there, so I'm not just going to let him drive down the inside of me and take the place and uh, have to give him space because uh, I've given the inside line to him, so I defend not too drastically, so I give myself half a decent line into the corner even though I'm defending it, but it means Phoenix hasn't got a chance of diving down the inside or if he does want to, he'll have to go down the extreme inside and then probably smack me, which isn't the way Phoenix races. So. I give him, uh, I give him that chance, I suppose, but uh, I don't expect him to take it. So we dropped off the uh, back of Bazinger now, both of us, but he's still there in front of us. He's not got away massively, uh, and so Specky Jockey's not far away in front of Bazinger. So we're still in this race. It's not like it's just me and Phoenix, but uh, it's just quite close between us two for quite a few laps. Pretty much goes right till the end, does this? 
but I can't just stick with us, I need to skip through everyone else at some point, so stick with this for a few laps just because it's good action. And then we'll, uh... oops, so we see uh, Specky Jock in the wall there, Specky Jock's gone into the wall, dropped back. So we've both gained the play, so now I'm in 6th, Phoenix in 7th, and Bazinger's now in 5th as well, Bazinger gaining the place of 5th through that, so Specky Jock having a bad moment towards the end, now drop back into 9th place behind Skid Guru, so ooh, bad bad for Specky Jock, always bad when you have a moment towards the uh, end of the race. So Phoenix still behind me, close racing going on. feel that I didn't need to defend from Phoenix into the first corner that time round. Both pushing hard to uh, keep up with each other as well, so a little tap there from Phoenix at the rear but nothing major. Bit of an accident, just fired it into the, uh, the apex actually, they did a really good job of catching me up, uh, it was quite a distance behind into that corner so it did a did a really good uh, job of catching me up, if, and if it had been a bit closer uh, before before um, that corner, then uh, it would have been down the inside and a, a genuine overtake there. Well, down the inside into that corner, outside for the next, so it would have been close, I suppose, but would have been a good one. Unfortunately, it was a bit too far back and ended up uh, just having a little bit of contact, but nothing to worry about. We've just had uh, about five laps of good racing together, so. I know it's nothing malicious, it's just an accident. And uh, again, I'll repeat myself, so long as it do not cause any uh, massive damage, then uh, it's, not, it's not really a big deal. He's not the only one, Phoenix, as well. I think I gave him a little bit of contact for these next couple of laps at some point. Only light contact again, but... We were trying that hard against each other. To, I was trying to keep sixth, sixth place, and Phoenix was uh, was sniffing the sixth place. And who knows? At this point in the race, we haven't finished the race by this point, so anything could happen up front, and we could gain even more positions. So whilst uh, Phoenix has got a little bit of a gap, we'll watch him into this corner, see if he goes for it. No, whilst we've got a little bit of a gap, we'll skip through everyone. So DRL Linger. Lion Gar in first, Ginger Tim in second, Paul K in third, Timovitz in fifth, just been overtaken by Bazinger as we join him, so good move from Bazinger, uh, clean as well, didn't hear any contact, didn't see the whole move but didn't hear any contact there, so Bazinger up into fourth place, Timovitz now into fifth place, me ADG in sixth, can see uh, Timovitz in front, not too far away. Phoenix in seven, still behind me. Uh, Skid Guru in eighth. Mulson in ninth. Specky Jock in tenth. Road in eleventh. B Cooney in twelfth. Steve Stearns not having the best race in thirteenth. And uh, Danny's still in the pit, so we'll skip back to uh, the action that has been going on. So, me and Phoenix. So Phoenix going for it here, late on the brakes into the last chicane, I saw him coming so I went deep into the corner but I had a bit of uh, oversteer because of it so no contact there I don't think, very close racing there, so I'm going to have to skip a little bit of time I think so I'm just going to skip it now and see what happens, so we've got Phoenix down the inside into turn one and uh, take sixth place off me, so I now found myself in seventh Good move there from Phoenix, it's worked hard, lap after lap after lap to make that opportunity work, so full credit to Phoenix there and good work uh, to make it work eventually. 
So it puts me in seventh place. I'm not happy. I want that sixth place back just as Phoenix has chased me. I intend to do the same to him for the last couple of laps and try and get that place back. My tyres are worn pretty badly if you look uh, at the bottom left, but it's not going to put me off. I'm still, uh, still pushing hard. Just makes it harder and harder to push hard and the lap times drop and drop, but don't mean to say I can't, can't try. So all in all, a good race from everyone here. A few mistakes here and there, um, including my, my own. Um, Specky Jock getting it wrong towards the end and drop it back. So a few mistakes from a few different people making a bit of difference to the race. But other than that, uh, pretty clean racing and good racing from everyone. So it's, uh, again, it's been a pleasure and uh, another good week's racing. Only, uh, let me work this out, there's only two more races, race 8, race 9, yeah, race, this is race 8, was it? I'm getting confused now, yeah, this is race 8, so yeah, there's two more races after this, so, uh, all to do for everyone in the last two races now, and, uh, it'll be really interesting to see what happens at the end of the championship now. So we've got Danny on the left hand, on the right hand side there, just pulled over to uh, get out of the way of the action. And the uh, drivers are in front of him. Just probably uh, watching the race from the side. So I'm trying my hardest now. I know time's slipping away from me to get back past Phoenix, so I need to really push and uh, try and reel him in. Phoenix is pushing to stay in front of me as well. You can tell by the uh, attitude of the cars. Uh, uh, it was only last night, so it's pretty easy to remember. Phoenix uh, put a nice message up afterwards, actually, uh, saying what a good race it was together. So, uh, ditto Phoenix, felt the same. It was a really good end to the race. Really, really enjoyed it. So I managed to close in on him a little bit now. I don't care that I'm just watching me and Phoenix. Tough. It's good action. Skid Guru's getting involved as well now. As we're both holding the YouTuber up a little bit, Skid Guru's had a chance to uh, catch up and get it back into the mix. So I managed to uh, get down the inside there and uh, take the place off Phoenix back into sixth place. Whoop, whoop. But again, Phoenix isn't going to be happy about that, so he's going to uh, try and get back at me. He's right behind me. There's not many corners left to do it. Through this lap, we're not quite on the last lap yet. So we come through the last chicane. Oh, we are on the last lap. This is the end of the race for us. Just gone over the hour marker. So there we go. I managed just about to hold sixth place off Phoenix. Really good race at the end from us two. Skid Guru coming in in eighth. Specky Jock uh, going on the grass right at the end, so ruining his race even more. Dropping back. Uh, who else is there? Mulson coming home in ninth. Would have been Specky Jock until he made that mistake. Broad in tenth. Uh, B. Cooney in eleventh. Specky Jock in twelfth now, just sat at the side of the track crying. Steve Stone's in 13th, uh, 14th is Danny as he has a bit of a mistake but he's already massively out of the race, he's been sat in the back pits for ages, we'll skip up to Lingar and give him the glory he deserves for winning the race and watch him come in, we'll skip a bit of his time just to make sure we come in so watch him come on the line, uh, Ginger Tim having a really really good race, I'll just say it again, well done Ginger Tim, bringing it home in second, Paul K uh, trying his best the whole race to uh, to beat Ginger Tim but not managing, coming home in third, still a really good result putting it on the podium and Bazinger in fourth, so really good results from everyone there and uh, brilliant racing, we'll just skip a bit of time to make sure I can get a bit of a, a finish in. Uh, I'll say it now in fact if you have uh, if you haven't already and you enjoy these races and want to stick with the championship give us a subscribe. That way you'll be notified when the new video comes up. 
thank you very much for watching i've been adg check out my other videos on youtube if you're interested i've got